today we'll be talking about how to replace the internal battery tray on a 1 and 1.5 battery backup power UPS. All you'll need to complete this is a Phillips screwdriver. First, we have the UPS, it's unpowered on. We want to turn the UPS off by holding the power button for 3 seconds. Then we're going to go ahead and unplug the UPS from the wall. We'll take about 5 to 10 seconds for the green LCD backlight to turn off. Once it does, we can go ahead and start taking apart the UPS. First thing we're going to do is we're going to flip the UPS on its side. There will be four screws on the bottom that we'll have to take out to replace the internal battery tray. Notice the two clips right here on the faceplate. They'll eventually have to be pushed in to pop the faceplate out. Now on the very back of the UPS, we're going to have to remove two screws. These screws are going to be right here and right here. Once you have removed the four screws from the bottom and the two screws from the back, you're going to have to remove the whole main panel of the UPS. You can do that by putting your fingers underneath and pulling outwards so the panel can come out. You're going to have to do it on both sides. And it might be a little bit sticky because it's form-fitted steel. That will reveal the inside of the UPS. Then you can also get to the back clips on the back of the faceplate, which are right here. We've already pushed the bottom clips on the bottom of the faceplate, so those are loose. Once the faceplate comes loose, you can just put it to the very top. The battery tray itself is located right here. There will be four additional screws that you have to remove. Then the battery tray front cover with wire connector will just pop right out. The inside, you can see in it positive and negative connectors, and the battery tray will just slide right out. This is what the battery tray looks like for this series UPS. Inside this battery tray are three 12 volt, 9 amp hour batteries. The tray itself just easily replaced and a new one is put in. You get a new one.
<clears throat> the new battery tray is available on www.backupbatterypower.com. It comes already preloaded with replacement batteries, so it just slides into the UPS. Once it's firmly into the back, you can take the front connector panel and reseat it into the front to make sure the connections are secure. Once the connections are secure, you're going to use your Phillips screwdriver and screw back in the four screws. Now I'm going to take the faceplate and I'm going to go ahead and snap it back into place. There's four clips, two clips on the top, two clips on the bottom. Now the front faceplate is reestablished. I'm going to put the center chassis cover back on. Make sure it's nice and flush, and then I'm going to go re-secure two screws on the very back. Now I'm going to secure the last four screws on the underside of the UPS. Now that all the screws are secured, I'm going to go ahead and plug the UPS back into wall power. The UPS LCD green backlit screen will turn on once external power is applied. I'm going to turn the UPS on by pushing the power button and holding it for three seconds. 